So the sweetest YouTube tea at the moment is CoffeeZilla's expose of Logan Paul's crypto zoo scandal. Or as Logan Paul calls it, game. And as the highest rated YouTube gossip channel and crypto channel, we felt compelled to respond. So I watched the entire saga from CoffeeZilla's four part series to Logan Paul's responses, both on his YouTube channel and on his podcast and found five times that Logan Paul blatantly Woo! lied to you. And this really blows my mind because Logan Paul lying is what got him here in the first place. Because as someone who believes that Web3 is the future and I know it's gonna be a really bumpy road until we get there and you're gonna have some things that don't perform so well, it's really important to distinguish that just because you lose money on a project doesn't mean it's a scam. But what makes it a scam is when you actually lie about what you're trying to deliver. So from the most innocent, smallest lie that Logan Paul told, all the way up to the biggest and most annoying lie that Logan Paul decides to continue to feed us. Here are the five lies that Logan Paul is telling you. And the first lie is how hard that artwork is to create. So in his response podcast, Logan Paul says this about the artwork of the CryptoZoo project. It was very do you, do you know how, okay. It was very basic. Yes, I know how hard it is to, to, me... to merge animals that that do exist into an animal that doesn't exist and make it look like a real animal. Now you're probably already aware that the artwork for this crypto zoo project was just Adobe stock images morphed into one another. And so it's very important for you to understand that listening to music may seem like an easy task, but for people going deaf, it's really hard. And I think this is a really good analogy of what Logan Paul is talking about. The images and the actual artwork is very easy to create. In fact, I could create it in just minutes at a much higher quality than what actually came out of the CryptoZoo project. And I'm not even a graphic designer, or you could go on somewhere like Fiverr and get these morphed images done for you for about $5 a pop. If you do these in batch, Logan Paul could have had his entire project done for about ten dollars to $15,000. But Logan Paul seems to blame his incompetence of hiring and actually managing artists that have skill with how hard this artwork is to produce. And to make this first lie even worse, Logan Paul's team originally stuck to a story saying that these aren't Adobe stock images. Ben Roth wrote, the NFTs are not Adobe stock. All of the NFTs we have created and are specifically designed by us and our team. That was until of course it became so obvious that these are just more photos of Adobe stock images that they had to change their story. Now the second lie that Logan told in his response was the roadmap timeline. In the seven minute video, Logan Paul makes out as if he hadn't abandoned this project at all. And he's been working on it behind the scenes to have it ready for 2023, 2024. He said, You've assumed that CryptoZoo isn't being made. Who are you to decide when the development timeline ends? Well, funny enough, CoffeeZilla never dictated the timeline of this project, but Logan Paul and the original CryptoZoo team did because they published this official timeline on their CryptoZoo white paper. So let's have a quick look at what actually was delivered on this timeline and what wasn't. So in Q4 2021, they had hatch date and a marketplace release, which was delivered. In Q1 2022, they had a breeding release, exclusive NFT and zoo yield, which once again were delivered. And that takes us into the second quarter of 2022 when the first game was supposed to be revealed, which never was revealed or to anyone's knowledge, never created. Which then makes, non-surprisingly, the second game reveal in Q3 2022 follow the exact same storyline. There's no evidence that this game has ever been started to being developed. But in fact, the community members have taken things into their own hands and started to develop two games for the project. And of course, this will strike you as no surprise, but the crypto zoo entering the metaverse has yet to happen despite Logan Paul and the CryptoZoo team specifying that it would. And before we get on to the third lie, I'd also like to mention that it's okay if you miss your timeline and your deadlines, but don't be blaming someone like CoffeeZilla or someone else. Just apologize to your community, be honest, transparent, and work really hard to deliver what you promised. On to lie number three. So instead of taking any responsibility for the CryptoZoo project going off track, Logan Paul decided to blame everyone around him, including the people that he hired. But what's even worse than that is Logan Paul treated his response almost like a virtual boxing match with CoffeeZilla himself. He decided to attack CoffeeZilla's character, and quite poorly, because Logan Paul said it was illegal for Coffee to record and play the recordings of his manager, Jeff. He went on to conclude that this is illegal and punishable with up to three years in prison. Why have you allowed the illegal recording of Jeff's phone call without his permission? And then more like an internet criminal, post it online. But CoffeeZilla is actually a resident of Texas, which is what you call a one-party consent state. 
Now don't take this out of context, this is for call recording. Other activities still need two parties consent. And what this means is under Texas law, it is a crime to intercept or record any wire, oral or electronic communication without the consent of at least one party. The good news is, is that you count as one party. And if you're recording, then you have probably given yourself consent to record the conversation. Which means as long as CoffeeZilla himself consents to being recorded, well then that conversation can be recorded. And CoffeeZilla shouldn't have to go away for three years. And now we're getting into what are hands down the worst lies out there that Logan Paul has told. Ones that are actually harmful to other people. Because as you probably know, Logan Paul has launched other crypto projects in the past. This isn't his first rodeo. He launched his own Pokemon trading cards and his an old coin called Dink Doink and his own 99 Originals artistic project. But apart from Dink Doink, none of these have been labeled as a scam. Why? Because they're created as collectibles and artwork with no utility. Once again, we're getting back to if you don't lie and you're transparent and you deliver what you promise, then none of this is going to be a scam. But the problem here is Logan Paul overpromised and lied about what CryptoZoo actually was. Because in his fourth lie, Logan Paul advertised CryptoZoo as something very different to just being artwork. It's a game. It's a really fun game that makes you money. And in fact, getting our own CoffeeZilla suspenders on and going for a dig on Logan Paul's old website allowed us to come across the first ever version of the CryptoZoo project and how they planned to pitch it. Well, first of all, the site looked way different and in fact, it had some terrible statements on it like this one. The NFTs provide a yield in a trading token on the blockchain brackets. They make money. And you know, in crypto world, you'll even get taken off OpenSea if you have an NFT project that promises to make money. What you need to say is they will yield a token. That token can then go and be exchanged for money, but if you are yielding money directly, it's going to be classed as a security. And lastly, I personally feel like this is the shadiest, worst lie that Logan Paul told during this entire time. Because all the lies up to now have really just been justifying his own actions to make him look not so bad or ad hominem attacks at other people, including his own developers or someone reporting on the issue like CoffeeZilla himself. But this next lie really could only be explained by one thing. Logan Paul wanted his launch to be huge. He wanted to stuff his pockets with as much cash and zoo token as possible. And so he lied to hype up his own project. Disappointingly, this is what Logan Paul said. Interesting talking about it without actually having the, the product for people to see. Uh, kids are addicted to it. Our developers, kids, all of them cannot stop playing the game. And it's interesting because we've definitely created like a viral, fun, uh, interactive game for, for, for kids. Uh, they're all bothering their dads and moms about about and as we've already discussed there is no game associated with crypto zoo yet yes you can breed them but the kids aren't going to be addicted to breeding smart contracts they're addicted to games like you promised to deliver but nothing in the pipes let alone people's kids actually playing it now funny enough on the other side of these five lies there's some weird things going on because when Logan Paul finally addressed this scandal on his own YouTube and in his podcast, he mentioned that he wants to revamp and finally deliver everything that he's once promised. And the community's response to this was once again to invest in his CryptoZoo token, shooting up the price as this news was announced. It has since trended down again since Logan Paul took very little responsibility for any of his actions or any of the things that this project turned into. But upon further investigation by me and my team, the entire tokenomic structure and breeding was fully developed and is still functional to this day. The smart contracts are fully operational, all the yield is being delivered to all the hybrid animals just as it was promised. And with the right team and right knowledge, this project could actually be salvaged. They just need Logan Paul to stop lying. On this channel, we do actually spend hundreds of hours analyzing upcoming crypto projects, their tokenomics, their white papers, and how sustainable or profitable any of these games will be. So if you're interested in diving further into this smart contract, seeing what Logan and his team need to actually implement in order to get this off the ground, let me know in the comments below and we'll do a deep dive on the more technical side of things. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.